tipsy cause I've been sipping on Henny I got the study of my vision and she ain't from the city And she ain't foreign and she boring Love the way you twerking shawty Throwing money on her own I call her independent shawty What's up everybody welcome back to the channel I'm Evil Rabbit here on Forza Motorsports 7 so I first want to apologize to you guys for the lack there of content for the past about a week and a half uh, there was a death in my family so I've been spending time with family loved ones and friends so but we're back today here on Forza 7 to do something uh, I've been wanting to try for a while we're staring down this beautiful Alfa Romeo 4C which I actually got a chance to drive one of these in real life and these things are incredibly fun to drive uh, with the fact that they don't really have power steering because it's pretty much a race car. They are fun to drive, but we are here today and we're going to rip this car around because I've ripped it around before in a racing series and this thing, uh, well, it gets pretty, pretty loose when it comes to, uh, rain. So, uh, we're going to run this car in the rain. So... Now we do have a new Logitech G920 shifter thanks to one of my teammates, MK6, for sending me a new Logitech shifter. He had one that he was not using, so he sent me a new one, so now I do not have shifting issues anymore. It does go into gear, so we're good to go. We got our full hydraulic cam brake, G920 with the 350mm Energy Innovations minty green and narrow chrome wheel in our Energy Innovations bucket seat. So uh, we're going to rip this thing in the rain here, and... Uh, probably get a little sideways did i cheat did i choose rain did i not choose rain i thought i did so we're gonna rip this thing but this car has actually been a lot of fun like i said before i did get a chance to drive one of these cars in real life and it's definitely insanely fun to drive everything's working we're good to go i did find this car slides pretty well actually so rip it around a little bit I'm waiting for the rain to come in because uh, this thing gets so crazy loose in the rain Ooh. but it is nice to have a new shifter so I don't have to worry about it missing gears and such as we wreck the 4c there's a person walking what oh that's a flag I thought it was a person walking there for a second I was like, wait a minute, what? So I'm wondering when it actually starts raining, when you select rain, like, how long does it take to rain? Because it should be raining soon. So a nice say. Oops, too much. So definitely going to be getting back into Forza and Horizon 3 and all, like I said before. I've just been busy with family. This thing is sliding pretty nice, actually. There we go. But it's good to be back in the seat. Look at that little clutch kick of this thing just goes sideways. If you haven't driven one of these things, pick yourself up one. Give it a shot, throw it in the third. turboed sounds amazing but I'm wondering when's it gonna start raining is it gonna start raining like on lap two or what I forgot what it's like to have a shifter that goes into gear whenever you want it to big shout out a big thank you to my teammate MK6 for uh, hooking me up with a new shifter he just had it sitting there he wasn't using it so you know it was nice enough to let me get it off him. So now we got a shifter that goes into gear every time. And we're good to go on the shifting situation. Let's see what we can do to throw this into this turn. Probably should stay in fourth. Maybe not. We got it. Oh, that was it. There we go. grab there a little clutch kick this way if I could have gone in the third but it worked out I'm just gonna clutch kick this in third and the thing just starts sliding out 
Thing slides so nice. Surprisingly, you know, factory. Go to little third person this time. Clutch kick. Ooh, this alpha is grippy though. And all those backfires. Here we go. Ooh. Cut grip. I'm so used to driving in first person that like third person is giving me kind of a a weird trippy sensation. There we go. Like I, I tend to counter steer wrong in uh, third person than I would in first person. Oh, here comes the rain. Now is when this car is gonna get pretty hectic. Keep it in fourth. There we go. Ooh, a little bit of understeer. <laughs> it's almost like this thing is all right now the rain's happening now this car is going to get super squirrely now's when the fun happens Go back in the first person here like i said this car gets really squirrely in the rain probably didn't even need to rip e-brake here we go a little rain drifting haven't really messed much in the rain so this was actually fun when i started driving this car through the championship and it started raining and this thing just got crazy sideways like like <laughs> this thing is just sideways don't like just clutch kicking it don't even need e-brake there we go that was actually a really nice slide so easy to slide too it just slides stupid nice very flowy Go yeah, big turn, probably going to fourth. Break late on the fourth. Now we'll e break, a little clutch kick. Too much. We're gonna hold it out. A little Monji action there. A little chicane, a little second gear. There we go. Oh. 360 for style, not really the best 360 ever. Ooh, jeez. All right, I need to get some traction. There's no traction whatsoever in the rain with this car. So let's see, let's try and uh, go in a straight line now. Here we go. Here we go. A little clutch kick, nope. Just a little clutch kick sends this thing sideways. So we're gonna throw it through this section here the rain break late a little understeer but a little clutch kick and the thing starts going there we go okay there we go oh that's a good slide tap the cones nope almost Go back into third person, see if we can get this whole third person back perspective. Cause uh, yeah, driving in third person is uh, foreign to me now. There we go. Definitely a lot of fun driving these cars in the rain. I'm gonna see if I'm gonna grab my drift car next and rip it through here. My my V8 FC that I've been having a lot of fun with and see what it's like in the rain. Just constant wheel spin. Not bad. But like I said, I think I do drift better in first person now than I do in third. Oh, that was a good entry. Oh my gosh. Uh, I think we got that. That was that was a nice uh, nice run. So we're gonna switch it up. We're gonna get the 
FC out here, so I'll catch you guys when I get the car. So we got the FC. We got the FC on track now. It is still set to rain, so but it's not raining first lap, so we're gonna get a good uh good drift lap in the first. And we're gonna do it in first person. So here we go. V8 FC. Here we go. Oh, this car is going to be stupid crazy when the rain actually hits. Long in entry in. Cut the grass. Nope. Ooh. Like I said, I do believe I drift better in this view. So we're going to probably try and switch it up and go. Oh, we tap those codes. Go in third person and see if we can get some good slides. It does look amazing in third person. With those flip up headlights, this car is definitely going to get crazy when it comes to rain time. Here we go. Nice e break in. Hold it out there. Flip that strip. Transition. See. I kind of lose perspective of how much I should counter steer in third person. I'm so used to doing third person like Horizon, but here in motorsport, it's it's foreign to me right now. So I think we'll probably be going back into first person once the rain starts. There we go. Ooh, this V8 FC though, just putting down the rubber in these turns. Probably should switch it up. I have no, oh, nope. I don't know how we saved that. Quick clutch kick and a change of gears. There we go. Nope, snap back. See, I lose. I lose the, the feeling of how the car is reacting. So we're going to go back into first person. I have been enjoying this view too. Let's see when the rain's actually going to hit us this time. Fourth gear. Here we go. That was not bad. Oh, I just realized I have ABS on from when I was racing the race series with the, the ABS uh, mod card. Because normally I don't have any of that stuff on. The rain should be hitting us here any second. I hope. Let's see what this car does in the rain. Let's try hood view. Oh, that was money. Not bad. Definitely getting the hang of motorsports now. I'm not. I'm not too bad. I'm enjoying this hood view right now. I just wish it would start raining because that was the whole purpose of this. There's the rain. All right, now let's see what 500 horsepower V8 car does in the rain. Oh, it's slippery. Yep. It's definitely slippery. Less throttle is definitely needed. Oh, we got it though. Enjoying that hood view a little bit. A little clutch kick. Oh my god. Holy crap, this thing gets so squirrely right now. 
was a really hard throw. We're just gonna use all the extra track out here. No traction. Still no traction. Okay, we're gonna have to go gas, get a little traction there. A little clutch kicking forth, SE section. There we go. Oh boy. Ugh. Nope, we're in the sand. Oh man. Now I have, if you notice, changed up the office so the camera is in a different angle. If you guys like this angle, let me know down in the comment section down below if you guys like this or if you like the other one from the side. I think this one gives you a little better perspective of how the turning is and how I'm actually working on the wheel and you can see the handbrake and everything better. So, oh, we went way too early. It's all right, we, we can save it. Use all the outside of the track. Oh, this car is crazy. I think we're gonna do the final lap in third person. Oh, I forgot about this turn. Nope. I'm not gonna save that. I totally forgot the hairpin there. Chicane was here. All right, so we're gonna switch it up into third person and see how we do. We're gonna go to the first third person view, not that higher view. Oh yeah, this thing's just super tail happy. All right, so here we go. Let's see what we can do. Oh, I entered that like I was on a dry pavement, but not horrible. Except grass is not my friend. There we go. Not horrible. Could be a lot better. That puddle kind of caught me off guard. Just like my, looks like my front wheels are almost floating, but we got it. There we go. Getting it. Not getting that though. Save it though. It's easy to save these cars. Just get on the clutch and go. It almost looks like my front tires are floating, but I know they're not. So we're going to finish this lap off, and I think that's going to be it for this episode here on Forza Motorsport 7. Once again, guys, I do apologize for the lack of videos recently, but as I said, I did have a death in the family, so I was spending time with family, friends, and loved ones. But I'm back now. I hope you guys can understand. So we're definitely back. Going to be hitting up some uh, Horizon 3, some Forza 7, and some, maybe some other games on the channel as well. And uh, possibly hooking up with some other YouTubers to do maybe uh, a YouTuber's tandem special. So look for that on the channel too. Oh man. We're gonna have to try and throw this really hard. Oh, that's the first wall we've hit. So as you guys know, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, all of which you found in the description box below. Yep, no traction. So until next time, guys, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. 360 for style. And I'm out. I'm loving, I'm tipsy, cause I've been sipping on Henny. I got the study.